it's a procurement initiative uh, conceived uh, uh, between the Fairness and Procurement Alliance uh, and the uh, University uh, of North Florida. The first and most important fundamental goal that we have is to double the number of small and minority businesses contracting with government, that's the federal government, the state government, and the local government, by 2020. We do that through a number of strategies. The first strategy is by using teaming arrangements, linking these small businesses to the university, to nonprofit organizations, to incubators that are here in the city. The second strategy is by using cutting edge technology, computer portals, distance education. The Fairness and Procurement Alliance brings knowledge about procurement. The University of North Florida is bringing uh, technology, the professors and the students. As you know, professors and students drive innovation. So new ideas coming out of the university gets into the arrangement in terms of development of small businesses. One of the initial issues that we became very concerned about was creating additional support for small businesses that want to do business with government. The Umbrella Initiative is bringing uh, uh, together a number of individuals with a specific talent and knowledge about procurement and technology. The key feature of the project that ties all of these teaming arrangements together is our portal. Ryan Reed and, and his company, NetQuarry, are going to be creating the portal. What we're trying to do is give the vendors a, a, a portal, a centralized location, where they can register um, I, I, the aspects of their business, where they can find opportunities, where they can manage those opportunities. And in, in doing that, what we're doing is we're taking the technology and we're giving them a tool that makes a stronger vendor community. He has a portal that already focuses on uh, federal contracting. And what we did is we built a piece of technology that helps uh, federal contractors better manage the, the federal procurement data. And he will be of great assistance in building the portal from a technology point of view. So that technology we're basically extending to take in more data and so that in the Florida vendors, the Florida sort of marketplace here, will have not only the benefit of the Florida data that we'll be annexing in this case, but also the federal data. So that'll be sort of all in one place. Dr. Carlton is our director of research and his goal is to bring together the content material that will be developed and, and exposed through the portal. The learning portal is a mobile apparatus that allows us to help expand access to small business and to those in the procurement area. Carlton is the chief executive and the president of the Black Chamber of Commerce here in Jacksonville. There's a need for improved training. He will be very, very helpful in linking to uh, minority businesses and to businesses that sometimes get left out in these strategies. We want them included, and Carlton is our access to them. What we have to take a look at is a form of social entrepreneurship. So people who are entrepreneurs teaming together developing projects, processes, and practices that impact the community. And so if you take a look at the CELL project, that touches on key teaming arrangements in terms of universities. Our vision is to have a transfer of knowledge. We all work together. We designed a procedures manual on how to retrofit these containers to where once that's done, we're going to pass that knowledge by teaching untrained and unskilled Jacksonville residents on how to do this. In addition, we're going to give them the opportunity to where they can work by building these containers. Lois is an educator. She is an expert in distance education. And she will be instrumental in the portion of our project that deals with distance education. Many of our disadvantaged populations, uh, women-owned businesses, minority-owned businesses, do not necessarily have easy access or frequent access to traditional face-to-face -face venues for learning. So our aim is to provide 
decentralized, easily convenient, okay. yeah. online, using existing technologies to deliver these trainings and information that are necessary uh, for these businesses to be competitive. She has been uh, very much involved in distance education, both domestically and internationally. I think one of the ways that our target audience uh, benefits is by becoming more productively contributing to the workforce in Florida and in the United States. It enables each and every citizen to be better informed about the marketplace, the opportunities of the marketplace. The Legal Center is just a specialized case of our teaming arrangements. Its purpose is to create a network of uh, law schools in Florida and around the country uh, that would devote time and effort uh, to uh, specific issues, uh, regulatory issues uh, that are affecting small and disadvantaged businesses. Part of our strategy is to use Florida as a demonstration case to prove to the nation that this works. So while our goals are national, we will use Florida as a test case to prove the concept. It's designed uh, to help the federal government meet its statutory goals uh, so that, that, that more small businesses can participate. Our mission is to double the number of small businesses contracting with the federal government, and that is our dream. Uh, we want to dramatically increase the number of small and minority businesses contracting with the federal government and with state and local governments.